best friends play with each other's boots in water. Take out your squirt gun, Snake. <laughs> We're supposed to listen to this for the mission. Oh my god, is she so dead? Why? Okay, so what? I wasn't working alone. You've got to understand. You do understand, right? I didn't want to drag her into this. It's my load to bear, alone. So you didn't create the AI intended to drive Sahalanthropus. It was strange, love. Skullface was never in favor of AI control. So naturally, they argued. Strange, love, she... She got him angry, and then he killed her. How? Oh, jeez. That was her? You didn't see it? So you found her inside that pot after the fact. Oh, God. It was strange, she love. left her body to rot in there. Or perhaps you put her in there afterward. I, I, I asked him not to take her away from me. So she was killed by Skullface, but you asked nicely, and he put her body in the AI pod for What? You. That's right. Pathetic. You know, we have another idea. That you killed her. What, uh, me? Oh, I couldn't kill her. You Fuck this guy. This guy's the worst. Body in the pod. I wouldn't. D don't treat me like one of you. I, I can't just... Kill anyone whenever I feel like it. I don't I'm do a, that either. A normal human being. Oh, I see. So you just shut her inside and waited for her to die. I would never do that. What you mean she killed herself? Yes. She she climbed inside that pod and shut the door. It can't be opened from the outside. It was suicide. <clears throat> Suicide, I said. She killed herself. She got in when I wasn't looking and, and suffocated. She this is a different story. Things like that. Uh, by the time I realized and opened the door, she wasn't breathing. I, I got scared and shut the pot again. I couldn't bring myself to open it back up. That's right. Me? Kill her? What, what is wrong with you? I see. You're such a fucking an asshole. Haven't you gotten enough today? Okay, okay, I see it's a painful memory. You don't have to answer, just listen to the question. You see, we examined her remains. She had a scar on her lower abdomen, a surgical scar. It had been stitched up and had fully healed, meaning it was long before her death. She had a child, didn't she? Uh, uh, uh... Your child. Where's the kid? How should I know? So there is a child. I've never seen his face. What do you take us for? Hmm. They took it all. Even my child. I didn't even know he'd been born. I, I lost everything. How old would he be? It's four years since then. <laughs> you know it's a boy. Strange love said so. And his name? We called him Hal. Hal. Even though I never saw his face. <laughs> God damn it, Huey. What a freak. Roger. We'll see what they tell me when I get in the helicopter now. I wonder if I should go see uh, Huey. On station at LZ. God, Huey's the worst. 
Why is he on our team? I hate that guy. Uh, 15 more tapes to listen to, including the hamburgers of Kazuhira Miller. Oh, I should read, listen to those. Those look important. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Hanging. Yeah, I can do that. I'm good at it. Quick change. Maybe I should go talk to Huey. Because none of these look like uh, Mother Base ones or anything like that, so. Oh, here's one. Please select a laddering to Central Africa. We'll go over here. We'll do the this guy. We'll listen to some tapes while we do it. And then when we get back, we'll go visit Huey. He's on the R&D, I think. So I'll have to make sure that I land there. And then if he doesn't have it, or maybe we should go visit Paz first. It's usually Paz. Eight oh one. Bum 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 bum. God, strange love was killed. Yeah, but then he was talking about Yeah, it doesn't. But it's genetically part of their Yeah, so you know what to do. Accurate enough to use as a weapon. You could wipe out a neighboring ethnic group by accident if that pronunciation is too close. What you say is true. In that sense, they are imperfect as ethnic cleansers. But for 
his purposes. They are good enough. His objective was not to exterminate any one ethnic group, but to render the world's lingua franca, English, inert. What was it then? Because that's what he said it was. Oh, to render it inert, not to get rid of him. There's something I've been wondering. Why are you called Code Talker? During World War II, He's the U.S. military used the languages of different tribes, including the Navajo, as codes, right? I know the term Code Talker was used to mean people sent to the battlefield to speak in those codes. Were you one of them? Our mother tongue was indeed used for war. But I did not go. I was already over the conscription age. However, I was made to help craft the codes that were spoken. So in a wider sense, you could call me a code talker for that. Navajo is a complex language. And virtually no one outside the US speaks it. Yeah, you can't. I must have thought it was the perfect language to use as a code. Yeah, in the end, the Japanese never cracked it. The cipher is king in information warfare. Of course, they didn't simply... Same with the Basque, actually. They created substitutions for words according to a code book, and then translated those into our language. Young Dine was sent to the front lines of the Pacific Theater as code talkers. To fight is an honor for the Dine. They were the pride of our people. But I cannot say this history brings me joy. Words are alive. When they are spoken, life is breathed into them. They become a part of the listener. Our words were transformed into lifeless ciphers and used for war. Huh. This, after the Black Anna spent generations suppressing the language. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I guess we shouldn't be calling you Code Talker, huh? No, I do not mind. The reason Skullface called me Code Talker was because I also am responsible for coding language into the vocal cord parasites. I am the same as those young warriors used for a cipher's sake. I must never forget that. The name, Code Talker, is a lesson carved into my being. You said Skullface ordered you to weaponize the vocal cord parasites. But you also said he wasn't the reason. And he wasn't. I was seduced by the parasite. That is a fact. <laughs> How? You mean from your curiosity as a scientist? That I cannot deny. But there is more to it. This story goes <sighs> back to the 19th century. To my earliest memory. One day, a man from the government visited our Hogan, our home. I cried as he yanked me from my mother's arms and took me away to an Indian boarding school. From that day that sucks. forward, I became George. This was the name my teacher gave me. That's shitty. I was forced to give up my Diné name, forbidden from speaking anything but English. If we dared utter a word of filthy Navajo, the teacher made us eat a bar of soap. Yeah. That Sucks. was the U.S. government's education policy for Native Americans. To erase our words was like erasing our people. Their education was tantamount to ethnic cleansing. Over time, yeah. the overt persecution of our language stopped. But to this day, it continues to be eaten away by the lingua franca, that is English. Many of the Dine outside the reservations can speak. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. I didn't look at where I was in the Extraction thing. Arrived at mother base. But it looks like they're pulling me back. Code talker examined everyone here. And one of us is infected. Who? It's quiet. It was our cutting edge Ooh. MRI that finally revealed it. But we don't know what language strain it is. Get back to base. Time for her to talk. You know the room number. Uh-oh. 101.
This isn't good. This is not good. Right after we had our moment playing in the rain. Oh man, this is the thing like from the trailers. This isn't very nice. She saved that kid's thing, remember? Talk, man. Don't keep doing this. This isn't nice. Anything. Still living up. Diamond dogs are mean. you with a parasite we can't let her talk put it back all I want's a name that won't trigger anything tell me tell me she's not gonna talk your lungs have been barbecued this traces of rubbing alcohol in your alveoli What does that mean? This was found adhered to your lungs, intact. A what is that? White star of Bethlehem. Like the boss. Hospital. Skullface sent you to Cyprus to kill Snake. Yeah, I remember that. You were burned inside and out. That should have been the end of it, but all things considered, you look. I'm doing just fine. To me. Skullface to thank for that, right? I was like the, the only one man on fire applying them to parasite therapy until he stole them from me. Why are you here? Did Skullface send you? Or did you have your own score to settle with the boss? Oh shit. Refreshing. Salt water. No. She'll die. This life isn't yours to take. Enough. That's enough. Jesus. These guys are mean. He wanted to kill the boss, he'd already be dead. Same goes for us. She's had plenty of chances. And she's a crack she shot. Can't talk. She's not here to kill anyone. You're wasting your time. It doesn't matter nice work, she's here. She works for you now. She's in love with the legend. Is she? What makes you so sure? I was the same way once. Yeah, that's true. What if she's a spy? So see. Kaz was actually Go working for Cypher. Let her go. She won't speak, so she can't spread the infection. 
God, Kaz is a real pissy jerk. She probably could have escaped if she wanted to anyway. She Navajo? Is she there to kill him? She has the English one. Is that Navajo? Or is it... I know she speaks Dutch. I think it's Navajo. Quiet's examination report. Things are progressing, I feel like. CQC throw. Boss, I've updated the mission list. We've received some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid. Boss, some of the kids we've been keeping here have escaped. We don't know why uh -oh. they ran off, but it may have something to do with Ralph's death. The Who's intel Ralph? teams are looking for them as we speak. I'll add information to your side ops list as it comes in. You need to locate and secure those kids. I'll try to find out what happened. Here's a blueprint for a handgun. Here's Quiet's examination report. In Costa Rica. I guess I'm supposed to go see her too, aren't I? Let's listen to a tape while we go over there. Which one was it? You said Skullface ordered you to weaponize. I was forced to give up my dinner name. Forbidden from speaking anything but English. If we dared utter a word of filthy Navajo, the teacher made us eat a bar of soap. Yeah, that was the U.S. government's education policy for Native Americans. To erase our words was like erasing our people. Their education was tantamount to ethnic cleansing. Over time, the overt persecution of our language stopped. But to this day, it continues to be eaten away by the lingua franca. That is English. That is English. Many of the Dine outside the reservations can speak nothing else. And it isn't just our language. Across the world, minority languages are being destroyed by dominant languages. Yeah. Many are on the verge of extinction. Mm. Like Okinawan. Enter the vocal cord parasites. Yes. I began thinking that minority languages needed some sort of deterrent against dominant languages. Oh, interesting. Like a nuclear deterrent. That, day, that their peoples and cultures would survive. It was then that I came across literature at the foundation claiming that man acquired language thanks to a type of parasite. Huh. One that distinguishes between languages as a precursor to reproduction. I don't know that I understand that. It, make it more pathogenic. I would have my deterrent against English. But I failed to hide that aim from Skullface. He noticed. He noticed. Yes. I wanted to retaliate against the English. But so did he. Though 
never did I intend to actually use it as he planned. You know how the story ends. I was forced to study how to make the parasites compatible with all the world's languages. All but English. However, he in fact secretly isolated an English strain. I will not yeah. be held prisoner by the man's phantom. The English strain must not be allowed to exist either. I agree. Science! Is she in here? Yeah. She's doing alright for somebody who just got tortured. I'm working on it, buddy. Science! Let's get another one of these. Commencing platform construction. Okay. Is this door open? No. Poetry in motion. Woman. Let's go check on her. Oh, snake. She's better? What is it, Snake? of the group birthday parties they are something to look forward to every month Miller was so funny at this one <laughs> when is the party this month last month was oh, I cannot remember she's gonna need to sleep it in a was, second um and then I no, that is not right. But I am an angel of peace. I I am a student. I'm sorry. She's you. starting to loosen. My head hurts. Could you huh. let me rest? Absolutely. What missions do I have here? Extraordinary. And then what about side ops? I should have search for escaped children. All right, let's call down a chopper. But once we get up into the sky, we're going to take a short break so that I don't have like some sort of crash, lose my episode or something, render the episode, and then I'll probably play some more today. I'm getting close. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, and I have a combat deployment that is a mission one. So let me set up that too. Rescue the peacekeepers. Yikes. Insertion of missions is the other way to save battle. 50 50, we can try it. Alright. Once we get up into the sky and we have our little uh, save point, we'll uh, keep things moving. Maybe I should deploy some more guys too. Looking left, looking right, looking left, up, down, all around. Oh, that was the first time, by the way, that our battle gear was deployed. Which is pretty cool. I don't think we can lose it, but hopefully we don't. There's poetry in motion. 
Science! Mission list Boss, update. I've updated the mission list. We've received some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid. Boss, some of the kids we've been keeping here have escaped. We don't know why they ran off, but it may have something to do with Ralph's death. The intel team's looking for them as we speak. I'll add information to your side ops list as it comes in. You need to locate and secure those kids. I'll try to find out what happened. Cool. Well, oh wait, I was gonna deploy some guys. Well, it was eat it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Unit dispatched. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Dan plays Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. I'm Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. This is Dan. I'll see you next time.